So what does Telco Cloud Marketplace has it for you? Okay. Uh, are there enough organizations or enough jobs present in this market? Let us try to find out. So this slide is showing you uh, select 5G clean telecommunication companies. Okay. And uh, the 5G clean telecommunication companies is uh, a list of companies or groups uh, that, has been, uh, that has been approved by United States government to work and implement 5G all across USA and NATO nations and uh, almost every country except for the, uh, the locations or the geographies which are in conflict of interest with United States. Uh, that means uh, mainly the Chinese operators and the Chinese companies. So if you see these companies here, big names, Telefonica, Orange, Telstra, Verizon, Sprint, NTT, Geo, Telenor, and T-Mobile, Rakuten. So all the big names of telecom are already here, which are 5G clean telecom telecommunication companies. That means they are implementing 5G in one or other way. And if they are implementing 5G, that means by default, they are implementing NFV or Telco Cloud into their data centers. So these are the groups that are already into Telco Cloud. Okay. And it covers most of the geography on the earth. These, these groups covers most of the geographies on the earth, right? Now, let's say if i if if i leave the uh, us sanctions and include the chinese vendors also or the chinese companies also then these are some of the key players in 5g and uh, here you can see uh, these are categorized a bit also so the cloud services are being provided by um, aws google cloud microsoft azure right and uh, we have uh, data center co-location connectivity providers um, the cdn providers the 5g infrastructure vendors that includes huawei and zte also along with ericsson nokia samsung right we have mobile carriers we have uh, 5g mobile chipset and technologies uh, vendors and uh, we have mobile device makers okay which contains oppo vivo samsung htc huawei oneplus so in one or the other way these companies contribute towards telco cloud or nfv area uh, may not be into the telecom operators uh, telecom operators operation directly but in some or other way so there are a lot of opportunities uh, waiting for you uh, into the NFV area or the telco cloud area all across the world. You see the, the scale of companies and the, and the kind of groups that are involved here. Okay. And uh, so this is just to give you, give you an idea about, uh, about the kind of companies and the kind of organizations that are already into this market. Okay. Now, if I talk about the NFV growth trends, then Checking this slide, you can see that uh, based on some independent research firms, uh, there is a annual growth rate of 34.9% that has been expected from 2020 to 2027 in uh, the global NFV market. Okay, so this, this is the sectorization by application by end user and by geography. Here, NFV doesn't only include the telecom operators, but the NFV also includes uh, areas like enterprise, healthcare, media and entertainment, data centers, and service providers uh, also. Okay, so these sector sectors also needs to uh, convert their traditional data centers into network function virtualization based or NFV based data centers. Okay, and if you see the NFV market by region. So these figures are in uh, billion US dollars. Okay, so North America, Europe and APAC are the most demanding regions uh, which will flourish uh, into the NFV market from, uh, so this is just in uh, just a graph from 2017 to 2024, but the same growth rate is expected to, um, to, to get to be achieved going further also. Okay. So if you see this area here, North America, APAC uh, is, a, is, a, is showing uh, a great growth into the NFV area and EU also, European Union is also showing on the same trends. 
okay however there is uh, there is a comparatively less growth seen into the latin america and the mia region and that is because of uh, either the geographies or uh, the small geographies or uh, or the or the wars going on into the respective regions okay so there is a lot uh that exists already uh, into this market for you if you prepare well for this market then opportunities await you now going further let us understand what is cloud so why uh, i am saying what is cloud because we are talking about telco cloud telco cloud everywhere but to understand telco cloud first let us understand what is cloud 